Hey guys, it's the Nail Polish Challenge and I am so excited to bring you guys the first theme Thursday manicure. Of course, the theme for October is Halloween. So I just had to show you guys not one, but four different Halloween designs. You can do them all together. You can do them one at a time. You can have one as a detail nail and the rest of your nails be plain. That is the beauty of this Skittle manicure. If you don't know what a Skittle manicure is, I do have a video where I go into detail all about different kinds of Skittles. I will put a link in the description box below so you can go check it out if you're curious. But let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the index nail, which is sort of like a bloody dripping cuticle. I'm going to use base coat, beige nail polish, some red nail polish, and of course top coat. I'm also going to be using a small dotting tool and this brush from the What's Up Nail Store. Again, everything will be in the description. I'm going to start off with my clean natural nail, which is looking a little worse for the wear, but you guys will find out why very soon. I'm going to start off with my base coat. And once that is completely dry, I'm going to apply my beige nail polish. Once my base color is totally dry, I'm going to take my dotting tool and I'm going to add a couple of random drops on the top half of my nail. Um, this is going to be like the dripping blood. And you guys might notice that the nails that I'm doing in this video are actually a little bit different from the picture. That's just because I took the picture without doing a video and then I realized that I wanted to film tutorials for all the nails, so that's why I did it. Anyway, I'm going to take my small paintbrush and I'm just going to connect the dots together with some like swirly lines and you'll see as you go on that it's starting to look a little bit like blood is dripping from the cuticles. It's nice and scary. Since we are working so close to our cuticle, you're probably going to get it um, all over you, but you can just use acetone and cleanup brush to get the red nail polish off. And of course, once everything is dry, you can apply your favorite glossy top coat. For the next nail, I'm going to be doing jack-o'-lanterns, so I'm going to use base coat a bright orange nail polish and black nail polish. I'm also going to be using top coat and the same detail brush as I used before. I'm actually going to be using it in all four nails. Again, I'm going to start off with my clean natural nail and apply my base coat. Now I'm just going to apply my orange nail polish. Um, this one that I'm using, it appears to be pretty thin on the first coat, but it's actually a two coater. It's a really nice orange polish. I do have a link in the description for all the polishes I'm using. If you guys are curious, you can check that out. What I'm going to do with my brush is I'm just going to create two small dots, sort of as a reference for myself so I can see where I want the jack-o'-lantern eyes to start. And then I'm just going to make little triangles out of those dots. There's really no shortcut to doing this. Basically, I'm just filling it in. You want to be really patient and you want to be really careful. It's okay if your nail polish looks a little bit lumpy as you're applying it because that will actually smooth down with top coat. So now that I'm satisfied with the eyes, I'm just going to move on to the mouth. So I'm going to start off by making a big smiley face. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to carve out sort of a space where I want that little extra tooth to be. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of the mouth with my black nail polish. 
again, there's really no trick to this. It's just sort of about being patient. <laughs> You're going to want to make sure that the black is completely dry before you add your top coat or else it is going to bleed onto your orange and then polish. Okay, next up we have the ring finger, which is Frankenstein's monster, using base coat, green nail polish, black nail polish, and of course top coat, and the same detail brush as I have been using. So I'm going to start off with my base coat as usual. Then I'm going to apply my bright green nail polish, the color of Frankenstein's monster. And yes, it is actually Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein is the name of the doctor. <laughs> Fun fact. So once my green nail polish is dry, I'm going to take my detail brush and I'm just going to paint a few small black lines. Just to keep them all nice looking and consistent, I'm going to go back over them and just sort of make all the lines nice and even. Once I'm done with that, I am going to take the same detail brush and create even smaller vertical lines over my long lines. That's going to be sort of the Frankenstein stitching look. So when my black nail polish is totally dry, once again, I am going to apply a generous coat of top coat. And last but definitely not least, we have the pinky nail, which is our candy corn nail. So I'm going to use base coat, some white nail polish, my bright orange nail polish, and some yellow, and of course top coat, and my nail art brush. I'm sure you guys are surprised, but I'm going to start off with my base coat. Then I'm going to apply one coat of my white nail polish. If you guys are curious about my favorite white nail polishes, I have a video for that as well, which you can check out in the description. So once that's dry, I'm going to take my nail art brush and I'm just going to create um, in the middle third of the nail, I'm just going to do an orange stripe. If you're feeling pretty bold, you can actually do this with the bottle brush. But I am just going to be on the safe side here and I'm going to use my detail brush so I can get that level of control. So I'm just going to speed this part of the video up just because basically just painting a stripe on my nail it's very simple and it's probably pretty boring to watch <laughs> anyway I'm gonna do the same exact thing with my yellow nail polish on the lower third of my nail and again I'm just gonna speed this part up because you guys know what I'm doing <laughs> So once I am satisfied with my stripes and my nail is totally dry, I'm going to apply a generous coat of top coat. And of course, you guys know me, I have to use matte top coat on everything. So I did mattify this manicure and that is what you're seeing in the picture. It takes away that glossy finish. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, stick around for the rest of my themed Thursday manicures. This entire month is going to be Halloween themed and of course next month I'm going to have a totally different theme which is really exciting. So make sure you subscribe for more nail art.